to World News Russia renews assault on Azov stole steel plant ahead of Victory Day. Ukraine says evacuations underway. Follow our live updates. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said evacuations will continue from the besieged coastal city of Mariupol amid sustained Russian shelling. An estimated 200 people are thought to still be trapped in Mariupol's Azovstal steel plant, with little access to food or water. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said shelling of the southeastern city will only stop when Ukrainian troops surrender. The Kremlin's bid to capture the whole of Mariupol is likely linked to Monday's annual May 9th Victory Day celebration. According to the UK Defense Ministry, Ukrainian media is reporting Russian naval ship Admiral Mikharov is on fire in the Black Sea. Alexei Honcharenko, a member of Ukraine's parliament, suggested via telegram that the frigate was in distress and may be heading for the same fate as Russia's flagship missile cruiser Moskva which sunk on April 14th after being struck by two Ukrainian Neptune anti-ship missiles, Germany to send seven self-propelled howitzers to Ukraine. Germany will deliver seven self-propelled howitzers to Ukraine, on top of five such artillery systems the Dutch government already pledged, German Defense Minister Christine Lambrecht said on Friday. Germany reversed its long-held policy of not sending heavy weapons to war zones last week following pressure at home and abroad for it to help Ukraine fend off Russian attacks. The heavy weapons will come out of the Bundeswehr inventories and be delivered as soon as they emerge from maintenance over the next weeks, Lambrecht and her chief of defense, General Eberhard Zorn, told reporters in the Slovak town of Sliak. Another effort to evacuate civilians from Mariupol's steel plant underway, Ukraine says. Ukraine's head of presidential office says a new attempt to evacuate people from Mariupol's Azovstal steel plant is underway. The next stage of rescuing our people from Azovstal is underway at the moment, Andrei Yermik said via telegram, according to a translation. Information about the results will be provided later. Russian forces in the besieged coastal city of Mariupol have continued their ground assault on the Azovstal steel plant for a second day. According to the UK Defence Ministry, despite Russian statements claiming they would only seek to seal it off, the renewed effort to secure Azovstal and complete the capture of Mariupol is likely linked to Russia's annual Victory Day commemorations on May 9, the UK said and President Vladimir Putin's desire to have a symbolic success in Ukraine. This sustained effort has come at personnel, equipment and munitions cost to Russia, the UK ministry said in its latest intelligence update.